Too much in love to admit they're too cheap. Guys apparently wrestling with their women and their wallets because a new poll shows more men want women to chip in when they go out. Apparently women are not as keen about this. To Michelle and Hadley and Steve on what they make of this. Hadley? Oh, man, you're going to call me old-fashioned, Neil, but I still think that a man should pay. If he asks you out on a date, if it's the first date, then I expect a man to pay because, listen, We've got a lot of customs and sort of unspoken rules in the dating world. And while many things can change about gender roles and many things can change about the economy, there's still some value to having those customs in place. What have you asked the guy? I probably wouldn't do that, Neil. <laughs> well, you probably don't need to. Um, Michelle, what do you make of that? Ugh, men these days, Neil. Absolutely. The, the, the woman is not supposed to pay. If you're courting a lady, you're the one who's supposed to pay. If you're the one who's initiating this date, which is usually the males initiating the date, they're the ones who have to pay for it. I understand we're in a bad economy. We have 7.6% unemployment, but there's no excuse. There's no excuse to make the woman pay. Yeah, but, but the guys aren't doing that great. You guys actually in this workforce are doing better. So, so pony up, you cheapskates. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to agree with Hadley. There are certain, I'm old fashioned, there are certain traditions. I think that you should treat a woman to a nice date and not make her pay. <laughs> Maybe the second date, Steve, then make him pay. You know, um, what do you think of this? I'm going to get myself so, in so much trouble. <laughs> um, I, my expectation is, uh, when I go out on a date with a young lady, is that the first three dates, I'm probably going to pay. Right. Okay? But if by the second or third date, they're not offering, I won't let them, but if, they're not at least offering by the second or third date. I'm going to think this this person's selfish. They're you know, uh, oh, why, that's why very you know interesting. why? But you know, look, if if you're a guy and you can't express that, then you're then you've no, got problems. Then you've got problems. Then I you're mean, a if you don't have the and, and, and then the women should wonder about well, why isn't he asking me to pay? Because he right. seems like a wuss. Right? Exactly. Exactly. There are yeah. there are ways though to go on a nice date without having to spend a lot of money. Going to a free museum, going to the park, making food yourself, making dinner. There are ways to uh, to save so... money without making the woman pay. You sound like Alan Alda with a dress. I, I cannot believe you just <laughs> said that. But but Hadley, I would I would that was a joke. I didn't want you to get you angry. Um, and nor do I want to get Mr. Alda. Uh, but I. I I will say this. <laughs> uh, it, uh, what are the expectations after the first few dates? To Steve's point here, that you know, after a while, you you are then, let's say, in simpatico. You both really get along. You know, it's promising. Then, what's wrong with saying, "All right, you know, uh, pay up, Hadley"? There's nothing wrong, and I think after it's established that you're in a dating relationship as women, we should offer to pay because, yes. look, in this economy, uh, a study showed that in urban areas, young, single, childless women are actually out-earning their male peers by about 8%. So yeah, this is a tough Yeah, but you're economy. still holding them out, these poor, you know, <laughs> underpaid SOBs. You're still <laughs> forcing them well, to pay up and bringing look, them we, further, it, it, you know, it, into but poverty. As a, as a social custom, though, sometimes the question of did the man pay on that first outing helps to distinguish between a casual meal among friends and what's really a date. So I think that these social customs that we have in place, again, they, they help signal to us uh, where a relationship stands and help us avoid some of the awkwardness that comes with oh, that well, well, See, I, I was such a loser at school. I would, I would offer posters at school saying, we'll pay for life. Uh, but nothing, <laughs> nothing. Uh, but Michelle, I mean, the, the economic environment has changed, right? I mean, women yes. are doing a lot better now in a lot of areas and industries. They're doing much better. So uh, aren't the old rules gone? Are, aren't the kind of customs that we had in the early days gone? No, I mean, I think once you get into a serious relationship, then you can talk about, you know, splitting the check and paying for certain things. But I think on the first few dates, absolutely not. The what do you mean man the first is few? supposed so to pay. So where's the cutoff the for first you, Michelle? Few. I mean, you're once stringing you... the guy along for how long before you say <laughs> Yeah. Maybe this is why yeah, I'm single. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I mean I think once you get into a serious relationship, that's when you uh, when you start paying for things. Thirty nine percent. You see, they're hoping the men don't ask them to pay. We well, connivers, huh? You know the, the other thing, the other side of this is I would never hold it against a woman if she said that she wanted to pay for the first couple of things. So there's you know there's no downside. They hold it against you for asking them. Apparently, even here in liberal yes. New York City. Really? Did, where was this done, guys? It was a nationwide poll, right? Larry, do we know? Where was this poll? It was nationwide. It wasn't just New York City, because in New York City. You would uh, think. Okay. 
but no. Look, at, you know, at the at the end of the day, Neil, uh, if if the economy is just too hard and it's too hard to go on those fancy dates, I would just remind people, urge them, you know, what's in somebody's heart is much more important at the end of the day than what's in their heart. You house, don't so. mean it. I'll tell you, I, I, if I had a dime for every Lies. woman who said that, I'd have a lot of dimes. I really they, believe it. Just like the same really women do. who told me, Neil, he has a great personality, <laughs> but no way in hell I'd go out with him again. So I, 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 I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I, I don't think you subscribe to that view. I think you could be lying on that. <laughs> TV, I went to see a movie this weekend. I bought the tickets for me and my boyfriend. So did look. you really? Yeah, I really did. did. Who paid for the popcorn and stuff like that? We didn't have any popcorn. Uh, <laughs> he struck me as very healthy. That would they probably you held that up like ransom, right, Michelle? I could see her saying, "Well, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, add anything else to this. You want the popcorn? Get it yourself." Uh, but Michelle, <laughs> even in this day and age, you're saying chivalry is not dead. Yeah, I mean, I think it's very important. And like I said, look, there are ways to go out on dates without having to spend a lot of money. So there's no excuse for not paying for the woman. I, I feel like the tradition, traditions like this are very important. For, well, oh, well, well Michelle, I love you dearly, but the first date <laughs> with you, if the guy were to go to McDonald's and just go to a bridge or something, say, hey, let's look at the bridge, look at the city, <laughs> you wouldn't buy that at all. You would, this guy would be like a memory. No, you could take me out to a nice museum, walk in the park. I would like that. And that doesn't cost very much money. You don't have to take me to McDonald's, but you could, you know, cook a All little right. something, take I me to the pen. park. Yeah. To get this, I, uh, <laughs> uh, I think I took my piece of I feel at like the you're not to buying roll this. I don't know. It was something like that. No, but <laughs> I, th I think we're all in agreement that early in a relationship, that's what most of the people who responded to the poll said. Most of the men still said they'd prefer to pay for the first yeah, date. Yeah, so but it's, Steve it's, was saying, you know, cough up after a while, for God's sake. Um, and contribute. I agree with the liberal. At least contribute. At, At least, least the first contribute. least we could do. To all too. a big society, <laughs> everyone contributes. Absolutely. Uh, all right, on the Steve side on this one. Um, ladies, I'm glad you're on remote. What up, everybody? King JB here again. Still taking a walk. Sometimes you just got to get some exercise in. I live in Florida. It's a beautiful place. So I'm taking a walk while I talk to you. Hopefully, police won't fuck with me and beat my ass. But anyways, today we're going to talk about the story you just watched. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with you bitches? Seriously. First of all, I'm tired of this idea, and this idea that pussy is more valuable than dick. It ain't. Every pussy can make me calm. Not every dick can make you come, and that's real talk. You know it, and I know it. So, the truth of it is, is every pussy seems down about the best, val the same value, unless that pussy has a job. Not every dick has the same value. Someone like myself has a little bit more. So, anyways, what I'm trying to say here is, uh. You see the video, bitches believe that dudes should have to always pay on the dates. Like 44% of the women think they should always pay. <sighs> First of all, let me say this. I think whoever asked a motherfucker out on a date should pay. Because it's rude not to. It's rude to just assume whoever you're asking out on a date has the money to go out on a date. If you ask, what if you ask me out on a date and uh, it's the week maybe that I had to pay rent and I ain't got shit. Don't you think it's unfair for me to then have to scrape up that money and pay? If I had the money to take you out on a date, wouldn't I ask you? Keeping it real. That's the point. Women feel that chivalry is not dead. Bullshit. Y'all want to be even, right? You think you're equal to us, right? So why the fuck should we have to pay? Why should we have to pay for the pussy? Why can't you pay for the dick? Because y'all women, you really don't want to be equal. You women truly still want to be women. You still want to be delicate. You still want to be that flower. You still want us to treat you like that, which is cool. Then stop trying to claim equality.
because you're not. Whenever that heavy box needs lifted, who do you come to? Whenever you hear a scary noise outside at night, who do you come to? And if we came to y'all, we would be a pussy, right? If I came to you and said, baby, go check that noise out. Y'all would be clowning on me for days, weeks, months. So let's be real. We're not even. We're not equal. If you go off and you smack me in my mouth, I'm supposed to be able to take it because I'm a dude. And if I called the police on you, I'd be a bitch. But if it was vice versa, I'd be a criminal. Motherfuckers be trying to give me three years in prison. Right or wrong. Anyways, back to this. In today's society, you women are doing better in the economy than we are. Everybody's hiring women. My wife, who had never really had a career worth shit her entire life, applied for a major corporate job. I'm not going to say no names of this business, but it's major. She got the motherfucking job without ever even meeting them. <sighs> Me, if I apply at McDonald's, them motherfuckers are running NCIC checks. They're coming up with shit, cr crimes I did in other states. They probably running whole national checks to see if I did any shit in Belize. See my point? A huge level of unfairness. And you women are getting paid flat out more than us dudes. It's easier for you women to jump from job to job than it is us dudes. So, in today's economy, it makes sense. Since y'all are equal and make more money than most of us, why shouldn't y'all be the ones paying for the dick? I'll tell you that now. My wife's paychecks come to me. Every other bitch I've ever been with's paychecks come to me. And every other bitch I may ever be with, the checks will come to me. And that's on church, period. Y'all can call me chauvinist, call me whatever you want. Bottom line, like 8-Ball said, like 8-Ball said, if you're not affiliated, you may not understand this pimping falling off my lip. Bottom line here is in today's society, you broads have the capability of making most money. So, uh, quit trying to get everything still. Plus, the government gives you all kinds of shit. Y'all ladies really feel entitled to everything. Y'all feel entitled to our kids when we have them with you. Listen, say what you want, but whether you're my wife or just a random bitch, if you're in King JB's life, you paying right. And that's the bottom line. So get your money right. But we ain't talking about anything. And that's real shit. And I know a lot of you bitches is going to come out here with crazy videos or crazy rebuttals saying I ain't shit. That's fine. But at the end of the day, I'm going to keep counting your money. Damn, this damn dragonfly almost stung me in my ass fucking with y'all. Anyways, bottom line, get your money right. And if you women want us dudes to continue to take care of you, accept and admit we're not equal. Until you do, break bread, break bread, bitches, period. King JB, uncensored. I'm out of here. Follow me at official King JB. I'm out.